Welcome to a new series I'm starting called The World is Doomed. We all know the world's doomed. Nostradamus, the sun, the Mayans. This place has come to an end eventually, and in this series I'm going to try and find the social trends and things going on that I believe may cause the end of the world. So, uh, welcome to The World is Doomed. So in this episode, I'm going to investigate a little thing I've noticed going on called self-care. Self-care, I thought it was something like, you know, health care, or hair care, or face care, or just being healthy. Well, I've watched some videos and I'm a little concerned on self-care. But I don't like to make judgments before I look into things, so let's watch some videos and see what self-care is all about. So I got my computer, I'm just going to search self-care into the search bar and see what comes up. Alright, so this video is called 5 Mental Health Hacks Self-Care. Let's, let's check this out. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about five simple ways that you can try and incorporate some kind of self-care into your daily life. Personally, I think that self-care is very important. All right, so self-care is important, but what is it? Let's find out. So number one is routine. This is definitely easier said than done. It's something that a lot of people struggle with, but I do think it's probably also one of the most important things you can do for your own kind of mental health and well-being. By routine, does she mean having a job? Because yes, you should have one of those, or some form of job, or you know something you must do. But I, let, let's see where she's going with this. Maybe, maybe she's making sense. Let's find out. And definitely set attainable goals that will work for you. So if you have barely even got out of bed this week, get out of bed. You should not be in bed for seven days. Get out of bed. Why, why is that a tip? Maybe don't set a goal that you are going to work out for the next seven days because that might just not happen and you might end up feeling kind of crappy that you in your head think that you failed when you haven't. It's just life. So whether it's just getting out of bed, eating breakfast every day. Eat breakfast! These, okay, these should not be like tips and hacks. These should be done no matter what. Showering before a certain time of day or even just going out for a walk once a day. Now you understand my concern. When they're giving you tips of how you need to wake up and eat and shower, you're kind of concerned of who's watching this kind of video. Set goals that are easy for you to achieve that you can kind of check off and feel good about. All right, attainable goals for the day. Woke up, nailed it, took a shit, killed it, drank a beer. We're killing the game now. I'm the next Elon Musk, I swear. And chances are you will slip up because you're human. Watch a movie. I forgot to watch a movie. Damn it. Well, hey, we're all human. We're all human here. All I'm suggesting is that you do something creative. So whether it's like painting, creating a physical photo album and decorating it, it might be an adult coloring book. If you're in a position in life where you're about to buy an adult coloring book, just think for a moment, how did you come to this position in life? Clearly you've made some mistakes. Number three, sleep regulation. So I have seen many doctors, not only for my own mental health issues, but for loved ones as well. And one thing that every doctor will stress is how important sleep is. Yes, yes, sleep, sleep is required. Thank you, doctor. Sleep not only has many physical benefits, such as organ repair and tissue repair. Not dying? Just try making small adjustments. So maybe right now you sleep from like 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Are you a fucking werewolf? Don't suddenly try and switch. Just try and make small changes. Like maybe the next day get up at noon. Don't wake up at noon. D that's a terrible tip. See this self-care thing what I'm talking about? It's encouraging people to be easy on themselves and do dumb things. Don't wake up at noon. Wake up at 8. Be an adult, okay? Be an adult and go to bed an hour earlier than you usually would. It's all about not being hard on yourself, but if you're waking up at noon, be hard on yourself. That's pathetic. So try not to dwell on whatever the issue is, but also don't hide from it either. And crying can absolutely be therapeutic, so if you feel like you need to have a little meltdown, schedule yourself one and do it. Okay, now she's endorsing crying. Look, from this video I'm seeing self-care is about setting easy goals that are pretty pathetic and being okay with waking up at noon and crying all the time. This is what I'm trying to say about self-care. It's kind of encouraging laziness. Let's move on to another video. This video is called, People Share Their Self-Care Routines. As we learned from the first video, routine is key. So let's see some self-care routines. I need self-care because 
I can get overwhelmed pretty easily. Welcome to being a human. I developed a self-care routine because I have depression. Most people do. When I read about a bunch of awful crap that happens, like it just gets me in a really, really bad mood. Awful crap happens and it gets in a really, really bad mood. Jeez, this is probably one of the most unique problems I've ever heard of. If I don't just set aside time for, hey, I gotta take care of myself, I just destroy myself as a human being. Okay, this is what I'm talking about self-care. Set aside time to take care of yourself. Yes, shower, sleep, eat. Why does this need to be taught? But they, they say take care of yourself. What does that mean? By setting stupid goals? By, by eating? These should be inherently done. This is my point. It's, it's perpetuating lazy, stupid people. My form of self-care is my journal. My thoughts and feelings will drive me insane if I don't get them out in some way, so I write them down. Look, not to be a dick, but this guy's kind of a pussy. We're all thinking it, calm down. My form of self-care is playing video games. When you play a video game, you're focusing on one thing, and it's just winning and beating the level. And it sounds dumb, but having those small accomplishments it just makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. Gaining fake points for a fake person in a fake game is not an accomplishment. Come on, man. Come on. Maybe you're depressed because you're wasting your time helping a pretend person get pretend stuff and not doing things for yourself, buddy. Maybe that's why you're depressed and need some self-care. Jesus Christ. It's good to find things that allow you to distract yourself. It's good to find things that allow you to distract yourself. I'd argue that's a bad thing. Um, we tend to distract ourselves our whole lives and then we die. I'd recommend you don't distract yourself when you pay attention to what the fuck's going on. But hey, that's just me. Alright, I found another video. Do it yourself, self-care kit. Pretty fucking healthy. The title says pretty fucking healthy, but they like used, you know, symbols instead of spelling fuck. Um, it, the fact they do that kind of gives me an idea of how this video is going to go. It's going to be extremely immature. If you're an adult and you are allowed to know the word fuck, and, you know, insinuate the word fuck, you should be able to spell the word fuck, you goddamn children. This is pretty healthy. Today, we are making a DIY self-care kit. This is basically an emergency kit for your emotions. Okay, emergency kit. That's key here. It's an emergency kit. Now, let's Google what emergency means. Okay, emergency means a serious, unexpected, and often dangerous situation requiring immediate attention. So let's see what is so emergent here. And it should be able to take you through any crisis that arises. She said crisis. Let's Google crisis. Again, crisis. Crisis. A time of intense difficulty, trouble, or danger. Now let's see what emergencies and crises she's referring to. You had a breakup. You had a fight with your mom. You ran out of coffee. <laughs> Dude, what's wrong? We're out of fucking coffee! A major one for me, you don't get your workout in for the day, and you get really dark. She gets dark when she doesn't get a workout? How dark are we talking here? Because she looked pretty evil in this picture. I'm a little concerned now. I'm a little concerned. We made this DIY aromatherapy putty. You can check out the video, we have the link below. It's a great way to release tension. Nope, that's not a great way to release tension. That's a great way to be a fucking idiot. Stop endorsing adults to play with Play-Doh. They're adults. This whole self-care thing is really putting a halt on the progress train. Adults should not be playing with Play-Doh. They should be doing taxes or, I don't know, building something. So I don't play tennis, but I've included a tennis ball. Okay, so she thinks she's a child and a shaggy dog. Good to know. Because it is amazing for giving a self-massage. You would just put it on your shoulder and that is not what a self-massage is, and you know it. I also included some coffee beans. I thought we were out of coffee! If I'm going to an exercise class, and I'm gonna be running or doing burpees or lifting weights, I would definitely smell coffee first. Why don't you just drink some coffee first? Oh, wait! You ran out of coffee? Let me get this straight. When you freak out that you're out of coffee, you smell coffee. Good to know. It's the glitter jar. It's literally just glue, water, and glitter and it creates this mesmerizing glitter pattern that just circles around. This is beautiful to watch. Okay, so I had my speculations, but I think we can confirm she's fucking retarded. Mesmerizing glitter pattern. I can't handle this video anymore. Okay, so what I've noticed is that self-care is all about making yourself feel good and really focusing on feeling good and being happy for no reason. Not accomplishing something, not getting something done, not helping someone, just feeling good because you're like not as happy as you want to be. Okay. 
it's kind of like taking a break from not doing anything. It's like I watched too much TV and didn't get out of bed. I better smell some fucking coffee. Okay, here's a video. It doesn't have a lot of views, but I, it stumbled upon me. Let's see what's going on here. Self-care. So, tip number one, staying hydrated. Water's a good thing. Oh my god! Yes, drink water. This self-care thing is like, I'm worried people nowadays are so stupid, they are gonna just kill themselves on accident. Tip number three. Brush your teeth? Even if I don't think like I need to brush my teeth because I'm not like going out and presenting myself or anything. Or oh, okay. Now this, this video may be like a one-off one, but the fact this is being made and people are thinking this way is giving a good indication of how society is going. These are some young kids. They don't, they, they're going to be, you know, working at the bank one day. And, you know, if the people at the bank have to, like, be told to brush their teeth and, and make it a goal on their, you know, to-do list, we're fucked, people. The world is going to stop. The, the economy is literally just going to stop. Hygiene stuff. Yeah, like, I definitely relate to, like, not feeling, like, motivated to, like, do, like, those, like, little, like, hygiene-y things. I, I'm getting a little frustrated here. Yes, clean yourself, people. Clean yourself. It is not a goal. It is not a tip. It's a fucking thing you do. I will say that, like, when I've, like, been, like, not motivated at all to, like, shower, which, like, that is, like, if there's one thing that I'm not motivated to do, like, usually it's shower, which is weird. Yeah, it's really weird, dude. That's a weird thing to not do. That's really weird. Be naked. naked. <laughs> hang, out, hang out with yourself while you're naked. Okay. I'm completely lost hope for the world, so let's discuss what I just saw. Okay, so basically self-care is all about, you know, getting a little exercise, whether that be walking or working out or doing yoga, writing your thoughts, reading, um, and just being kind to yourself and, and loving yourself and taking a lot of time to make sure you're loving and, and just really happy and content with who you are, but taking a lot of time, taking a lot of time out of your day to make sure you're happy. Now, this is called leisure. Le it's called leisure. It's not self-care, it's leisure. Enjoying yourself. Look back a couple years ago, okay? 1945, okay? My grandpa was a gunner in the army. He fell out of a plane and lost his legs. Well, that's what he said. He had severe dementia. I'm not sure that's true. He may have lost him from diabetes. I'm not sure. Point is, he had no legs, didn't complain, but people nowadays are like, we're out of fucking coffee. I need to smell some coffee or I'm gonna kill myself. My mom told me to fuck off. I need to write about it in my journal. The fact we're endorsing and really promoting this taking care of yourself and wasting time to be happy and just spiritually enjoy who you are and love yourself, it scares me. Anyone who doesn't hate themselves, there's something wrong with you. You should hate yourself. Self-hatred is normal. It keeps you going. It keeps you pushing to like yourself. That's called motivation. If you're so unmotivated, it's probably because you like yourself too much. Now, final thing I want to say, if we perpetuate this whole lifestyle of enjoying yourself at all times and making sure you're constantly happy and love who you are and taking a lot of time to please yourself and smell coffee and make little kits and tell yourself you love yourself and making shitty goals to drink beer and wake up before noon, we're doomed as a society. The world is going to stop working. Economy's gonna collapse, we're all gonna starve to death, and probably rot away because we forget to shower. And that's why the world's probably gonna be doomed due to self-care. Well, thank you for watching The World is Doomed. I appreciate you watching the video. I'd love to hear your feedback and why you think self-care is a good or bad thing. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I'm probably right, but who knows. I'd appreciate it if you were to subscribe or like the video or do something, you know, active down below. But uh, if you don't, it's cool. I'll go to my self-care box and, you know, just drink some beers. That's why I keep my self-care box. I'll be okay, I think. Um, all right, well. Make sure to hate yourself. It's great motivation. Goodbye. But I'm just very upset right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go. But I'm not going to stop yelling because then that'll mean I lost the fight.